Making a phone number clickable is easily done with HTML using the TEL protocol. Here is an example of that. This part creates the call link, which tells the browser how to use the number. The part after that creates the visual text on your web page. You can change this to say whatever you want. For instance, you can make it say call now, but when your visitors click on it, it will call the number you specified with the tell protocol. If your number has an extension, then you can put a P before it to add a one second pause. This dials the number, waits one second, and then dials the extension. You can have it wait for a dial tone by using W instead of P. Country codes can be added by including a plus along with your country's code before the phone number. As you can see here, plus one was added in front of the phone number. When you Google a business on your phone, some results feature a clickable phone number. This feature has become a necessity. You can achieve this with microdata, which informs search engines to make a clickable call link. For example, the code may look something like this. By adding this to your website, search engines will now make the clickable phone number available for your search result. HTML5 includes other protocols you can use the same way as Tell. There's also Mail2, which opens an email app, Call2, which opens Skype, SMS, which sends a text message, and Fax, which will send a fax. All of these protocols are used in the same way. If you're looking to avoid code and make your life easier, here are four plugins you can use that will do all of the work for you. Call Now button, sticky side buttons, speed contact bar, and mobile contact bar. To learn more about these plugins, view code and any other links mentioned today, check out the blog post linked in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.